You like how the beadlocks look? Yeah, they look pretty good. Guess what? Those are yours. So I gotta be kinda quiet right now. Harry's inside. A few weeks ago, or actually probably about a few months ago now, uh, we took the welds off of the Mustang and we put them on Harry's car. And while we tested them, Harry like absolutely loved them on his car. Uh, they're really, really nice wheels. I've only had them for about six months now, seven months, eight months, something like that. But as you guys probably know from the last few videos, I actually upgraded to a set of beadlock welds. So anyways, what Harry doesn't know is, is that uh, he's inside right now taking the back wheels, the welds off of my car to put on my new beadlocks. But whenever he takes them off, I mean, I don't know if he's gonna come out or not. Whenever he takes them off, I'm gonna surprise him and tell him that they're his. I'm gonna walk inside now and pretend like I'm just starting the video. But this should be, this should be pretty cool. I'm kind of anxious to see how he responds to it. Is it trying to spin or turn the car or something? Oh, well, the e-brake's not even on. Oh yeah, put it in gear. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look at the transmission. <laughs> <sighs> And look, dude, they still got such new tires on them. Oh my god. That looks fucking sick as shit. This is what it looked like before. It, this, it looks really weird on a black car. When we test fit them on Harry's car, they looked freaking fantastic because the silver, it goes really well with white, but silver on black looks really bad for some reason on my car. And I've always kind of had a problem with it ever since I got them. But now that that is a primarily black wheel and the beadlock, that thing just looks so freaking aggressive. I seriously want to give a huge thanks to Demonology's friend Third Degree that he uh, introduced me to. I really, really appreciate it. He's the one that actually sold these wheels to me and man they look freaking fantastic this is literally the last piece to the race car puzzle it's a race car now you can't have a street car on b locks there's just no way really it's not street legal with b locks it's gotta be really damn this is like graduation it's graduating from a, a street car to a race car i've wanted bead locks forever but i didn't want to be that guy that doesn't need bead locks but still has them like the parachute so <laughs> so uh, I was waiting a little bit, but now that the car is about to get so much more power, the bead locks are going to be necessary, the parachute's going to be necessary, everything. So it's going to be like uh, a real, a real race car now. It makes me so sad to say that. It's like my daughter having her first birthday or something like that. Is what it feels like. It's going to be a whole race car next week, bro. <laughs> All right, come stand right here for a thumbnail. Stand right here for a thumbnail. Yeah. Like stand behind the wheels real quick. Behind. Behind those wheels. Oh, behind like Captain Morgan. Yeah, Captain Morgan and that. Shit. Yeah. Looks good, looks good. You like how the beadlocks look? Yeah. yeah, they look pretty good. Guess what? what? Those are yours. No. Yeah. No. I swear to God. No. I swear to God. No. I swear, that's the only reason I went and picked those up. Swear to God. No, I swear. No. Yes. You swear. I swear, bro, I swear, no. hand on the Bible right now. Those are your new wheels. Are you serious? I'm being so serious. I got my front runners coming in. Those are your new front runners too, whenever they come in. Oh my God. For real? I, dude, I swear, I'm not, I'm not joking with you right now. I'm being so serious. Really? Yeah. You can go ahead and put the front runners and everything. You can put the whole set on today if you want to. Because I got my, my front runners going to be coming in soon anyways. You dead ass. Dude, yes, I'm being serious. I swear, you can even ask Austin. I've been talking about this for a few weeks now. There you go. I show new wheels. That's that's the best way that I can say thank you for everything that you've been doing for me. For real? Yes, I'm being so serious. That's why I've been trying to save the tires too and not beat the tires too bad because I knew that you needed some tires because tires are expensive. So I've been trying to save those and that's what I saved those up there for because they still had a little bit of tread on them. So. I'm sweaty. I'm going to hug you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You want to put them on? Well, I don't have lug nuts. I forgot about that. You still got OEM lug nuts. You want to go grab some lug nuts then? No way to see either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'm not going to lie. There is sort of a catch. I got a full send launch. Well, that. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Trying to come with me to Arkansas? Might be going to pick something up. Oh, is it? <laughs> Really? Yeah, I ran these on my car for so long. Harry's just gonna pull his car in here. We're gonna get these wheels put on his car, but real quick, check this out. So I got a bunch of goodies in already for the engine swap on the car up there. So check it out. We've got in these three right here, and um, we've also got some manual transmission and transaxle gear lube. So basically what you do is you mix all three of these together and it creates what is called the Amsoil cocktail. Now Ben Calamer, who actually builds MT82s, came up with this, and he's the one 
one that uh, kind of recommends putting these con this concoction into a transmission. Well, the MT82 to be particular. Anyways, this concoction apparently is perfect for those cars. Allows them to keep together for a lot longer and helps out with shifting and everything else. Helps the synchros in the transmission, all that good stuff. So we're actually going to be taking the stock block and the transmission, pairing it back together with a new clutch for Mantic, which I'm super excited to tell you guys about, but we're going to wait until the future for that. And we're going to be pairing it up to these Gen 1 heads that I got a long time ago. If you guys remember when me and Harry went on a cruise, I actually got these Gen 1 heads up here. I've got an intake manifold. I've got everything ready to go in all of these boxes from here up. And uh, we're going to be ready to build a Coyote and transmission set up, ready to get swapped into something. So anyways, though, this fluid is going to be for that transmission. Now also, I've got some nice oil here from Anzoi. This is their new Dominator racing oil. This is actually 1550. Now normally in the Mustang, I run 5W50, but I figured since we're going to be getting the built motor in there and we're going to be pushing it pretty hard, uh, hopefully aiming for about 1200 wheel horsepower, 1550 is probably a little bit better oil to run. For the new motor that we're putting in, which is on the crate behind the Miata over there, I went ahead and got some nice Amsoil break-in oil, um, and we're going to be using this basically to really quickly break in our new engine, and it should be ready for some serious power. So after that, we're going to drain that oil out and put in Amsoil Dominator Series. Next up, we've got a few more goodies. We're getting this car ready to rip this entire year so this is going to be 75w90 which is going to be for the rear diff i would really like to go ahead and change the oil and stuff while we're here because we're about to be really pushing that diff quite a bit i've also got a bottle of friction modifier right here that we're going to be using with these two we've got our throw out bearing slave cylinder whatever you want to call it that we're going to be using for the new transmission that's going to be coming in oh pose here and last but not least We've got a new ARP crank bolt. And uh, as you guys know, on this new engine that we we're gonna be putting together, <sighs> I still got my ATI super damper right here, but we're using a stock bolt, which I don't really wanna use with putting the blower on that much, you know, making that much power. It's a lot of stress on the front of this crank, especially on this uh, damper right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just get the ARP bolt put in there on the new engine and everything like that whenever we get it all together. So that should help out a little bit, at least make it a little bit stronger. The deed is oh, done. Oh, oh, what deed? The deed of bringing the whole meat, meat to the Alabama and back on a test drive, done. How'd the truck do? Flawless. What do you think? I think these are beautiful. And these need to be a little bit tire for your stick car. Yeah, I agree. We need some more tire. So guess what? What? Those are Harry's new wheels. Really? Yeah. That's what he's taking his wheels off for over there right now. Are you serious? Yep. That's awesome. That's you want to go to um, Arkansas tomorrow? We may or may not be going to pick up a car. It's like literally the color of the lift yellow. I never ever would have thought that I would like a yellow car or anything until, you saw it, but what until I saw it. There's not too many cars that come in yellow that are sports yeah, cars. I'm thinking so. fucking Lamborghini. All right, ready? ready? Is it a Mustang? Is no. Mustang's coming yellow? Nope, not a Mustang. Well, what the heck is this thing? What motor does it have? What, what engine is it? Uh, I can't tell you, that'll give it away. Yeah. It's a stick shift. The car comes with a T56 transition. Mind blown because the Viper comes with that. <laughs> the Viper, everything comes with T56. Rear wheel drive. I know, I know you, so like it could be a vet, but like at the same time, like it really doesn't have to be a vet because it could be anything. Yeah. Damn it, why are you doing this? Dude, these wheels look so much better on a white car. You know what I told him? <laughs> There's no excuses for launching no more. Clutch, dump, or nothing. <laughs> got the fresh bumper, got the fresh wheels. You got to tell everybody on YouTube, thank you. Cause this ain't me doing it, that's them allowing <laughs> allowing the whole thank y'all for everything. Drop a like on this shit. <laughs> Subscribe and press the bell. That's crazy looking with the front runners on there. I don't know if I've ever seen an EcoBoost on 28s, but now I do. I really don't know if I've ever seen an EcoBoost on welds either, to be honest. Now that we got the wheels on Harry's car, let's go ahead and get started. Swapping out the radiator onto the bike finally so the first thing that we've got to do to be able to replace this radiator obviously we've got to pull these fairings off so let me do that real quick there's a bunch of bolts all over the bike that holds it on but it's not too too bad so next up we've got to pull off these clamps there's two on that side and one over here on the passenger side of the bike actually no two right here yeah okay so there's two on both sides and then the radiator is held on i'm not even oh yeah it's held on one bolt at the very very top up there so we'll get that off and actually it's another bolt down here too so after we get those bolts off the whole thing should come out ah! and we got one bolt up top hang on the fan harness is still plugged up there we go Ah, there we go. We got the radiator out of the bike. Let me let it drain a little bit more and then we'll look at it. And I'm kind of curious if we can find out where the hole is at. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I guarantee you I know where the hole's at. So right here where this fan is, it looks like this is an aftermarket radiator. And on aftermarket radiators on bikes, sometimes fitment isn't right. If you notice the fan is detrimentally close to the radiator. And basically what happens is over time on these bikes, whenever the fan kicks on, uh, it will eventually, you hear it? 
it will eventually cut through the radiator slowly, slowly but surely. So check it out. Barely, ever so slightly cut through the wall of the radiator right here where the fluid passes through. All right, let's check the fitment here and see if this is gonna work. Actually, we won't even need the spacers on this one. This one clears a lot better. Check this out. So if you can see under there, we've actually got plenty of space down there for it to be able to clear so we shouldn't need the spacers which is good all right we got the new radiator fans onto well the radiator fan onto the new radiator and uh we got the radiator cap put on all the rubber grommets put on on all the mounting locations and uh i think we're good to put it back in though It doesn't even sound that loud at 9,000. So check it out, we're at 220 degrees and guess what, the fan came on. I don't know if you can even hear me, so I'm sorry, but the fan came on, which is great. Well, dang, okay. I guess my plans of riding this afternoon kind of just got thrown out of the picture. Oh. You wanna do a celebratory uh, burnout? Yeah. No, no. Sit on the tank. There you go. I am super excited for him to be able to go to the track and test these wheels out. Now that he's actually got some sticky on the back, he should be able to run a much faster time with it, I think, especially being that there's gonna be no traction issues. Trust me, <laughs> none. <laughs> Bead locks are mounted on the Mustang now. All I'm waiting for now are my new front runners to come in. Super excited to show you guys what they're gonna look like with the rears, but the rears by themselves are freaking insane. Also, do not forget, guys, Beep is available. We have got just a few more weeks. We're seriously closing in down to the day for giving away Beep here. Oh, Oh my gosh, one of you guys, I'm telling you, August, mid-August is whenever the giveaway ends. Um, and one of you guys are gonna be, what the heck? One of you guys are gonna be able to take this car home. It is gonna be so cool. Make sure you guys go get entered in for that. www.com slash, oh my gosh, why do I keep saying that? www.itsjust6.com slash shop. Da da da. I'm all alone again, out of my own again, running from home again. You always telling me you can do better, shut up and show me then. I don't got time for this, I laid on the line for this, told you in confidence. All of my secrets and all of my woes, you took all of my souls.